Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. We're going to be looking at the join function today on Power Automate. Now the join function allows us to take an array, such as Joe, Jackson, Meg, and convert it into a string. But it also allows us to use another parameter called a delimiter, which is effectively a character selection process to separate our strings. So let's actually take a look at a collection example then. We've got a names array of Joe, Jackson, Meg. We use the join function, we pass in our array, and then we're going to pass in a string of comma and a space. Now what this is going to do is it's going to iterate between, over Joe, Jackson, Meg. So it's going to iterate over every single object that you have in your array. And it's going to apply the comma and the space to the end of it. And then eventually we're going to return a string to us of Joe, comma, space, Jax, comma, space, Meg. What actually happens if we want to use a different delimiter then? Say we want to use the pipe. Well, obviously we don't want the pipe to be on the end of the E of Joe. So we add a space, pipe, space. And then we return Joe, space, pipe, space, Jack, space, pipe, space, Meg. So let's actually take a look at this in action on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate. As you can see, I've got a manual trigger here and I've got a names array of 10 different names. Now, I've got a join function, which I'm using, and I'm passing in the variable of names array. And as from the previous example, I'm passing in a comma and a space via a string. And then I'm also using the pipes example here where we're passing in the names array and we're doing a space pipe and a space. So let's actually see this in action then. Let's kick off the flow. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We've got our 10 names in our array. And now we have a string of Jacob, comma, space, Emily, comma, space, Taylor, etc., for all of the different uh, names. And then we have the pipe example where we've got Jacob, space, pipe, space, Emily, space, pipe, space, Taylor, and so on. And that is how you use the join function in Power Automate to convert any array into a string and use a delimiter of your selection to produce the string that you want of all of the objects in your array. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.